Hey guys, Coach Ambrose, Coach Sullivan, coming back to you with another hitting video that you guys can do at home. Uh, this one is more for rhythm and tempo, all right, and, and kind of adjusting when we need to get our foot up and down throughout the process. All right, so this is called the step up drill. So what's gonna happen is Coach Sullivan's gonna feed me baseballs, all right? And he's gonna try to keep his feed, his speed and his tempo consistent, all right? And I'm gonna step up after each swing, all right? My goal should be as a hitter, I'm trying to keep my tempo the same. So as I move up, my, my adjustment as a hitter is not to speed up my step. I'm trying to keep the same tempo as I would on a normal swing, all right? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great drill to force hitters to start to feel and be comfortable with the fact that my adjustment as a hitter is not to match the pitcher's tempo. I'm trying to keep my tempo consistent. I'm gonna put off a normal swing from the plate here. If it's a good swing, Coach Sullivan likes it, he's gonna have me move up. All right, I'm just moving up one step here. And again, my adjustment is, when do I need to get my foot up and down with the step? It's not, do I need to speed up my stride and kind of have that jump forward, all right? And that's one thing you want to look at when you're doing this drill with your partner is, do you see them speed up? So if Coach Sullivan sees me, you know, on this next step, on this next set here, he sees me really jump into the baseball to try to get down, and I'm trying to match the tempo because I'm moving up, he's going to tell me to stay there, put off another swing, and again, I'm trying to match the tempo from point A, point B, and point C. So I usually go sets of three. So hopefully what you saw with each rep was the timing in which I got my foot up and when I got my foot down, all right? Obviously as I got closer to Coach Sullivan, all right, I had to get this up a little bit earlier as opposed to when I was back here, I was almost waiting till I saw his progression forward to release the baseball. That's right around when I was taking my stride. The closer I moved up, you know, maybe the next one I've got to get up when he's already reaching the ball back here. So I'm loaded back, ready to go, and I can get my foot down. And then obviously here, changing it again, getting it going a little bit earlier. The goal of this drill is to stay consistent with your rhythm and tempo. A pitcher's goal is to disrupt your tempo, all right? And my, my goal as a hitter is to not let that happen. And this is a great drill to kind of implement into your hitting routine to kind of concentrate and force yourself to feel, okay, when do I need to get that foot up? When do I need to get it down? All right, but my tempo is staying the same.